All right. Well, a lot of industries are suffering right now because of this recession, but perhaps no bigger than maybe the vacation industry because a lot of travel is off because people can't afford a vacation, are afraid to take a vacation, or they're worried if they take a vacation, they won't have a job to come back to when they're back home. But benefits if you do go yes. now, if you can go now, including free stuff. We'll talk about that. Joining us now, five reasons to keep traveling is Jennifer Donches, president of VIP Vacations. Good morning. Good morning. Well, we got to we'll get to that good stuff, okay. the free stuff. But I got to ask you off the bat about this United Air, Airlines policy where they've come out yesterday. We had the story where they said they will start bumping overweight passengers on full flights, or they're going to force them to buy two seats. When's the first lawsuit coming over this one? I don't know. It's a really tough scenario because. People who buy a seat feel that their personal space is getting invaded. So United has said if you can't put the armrest down fully, you need to purchase a second seat. Or you, if it's an oversold flight, they will ask you to go on a flight that's not as full. Now, if it's not oversold, they will accommodate you in an area mm -hmm. where you're, you're not invading that personal space. But it's going to be a very difficult thing because whose job is it to tell who to leave? They're saying it's the flight attendants. Right. Or, um, Southwest has a policy that's not strictly enforced, but what they do is they eye up the person before they get to the gate. And I think that what people need to be aware of is if you cannot put those armrests down, know what could possibly happen. Try to fly on times that are not peak. And if you see that it's a peak time, you might want to purchase a second seat or fly business class or use miles to upgrade. That's a good scenario because that walk of shame can be horrifying yeah. and devastating to people. And if you miss your flight, you could miss a connection. You could lose money at a hotel if you can't get there. So right. it's a domino effect. Okay. All right, Jennifer, what's the best deal right now, cruises or land packages? If you do have the money to, to go away and maybe don't fear going away and losing your job. Well, there's some really great things going on right now. A lot of freebies. Okay, we like a lot that. of freebies. You can stay at an amazing hotel, most of the hotels in Hawaii, and they'll give you free breakfast now, which is a nice deal. Mm -hmm. If you fly to the Bahamas, the Bahamas Tourism Board will give you $200 back. They call it their stimulus. And there's a lot of other perks too, getting room upgrades, getting spa credit, getting resort credit. So there's some freebies out there if you are going to travel, which is nice. I'm going to combine two and three here, the okay. tips. Uh, fewer passengers now at the airport, so dealing with security, it's easier to get through. It is. Remember, it used to take hours just to get through some areas in Philadelphia. Right. Less people traveling, less hassle at the airport, which is a nice thing. And better chance you're going to have a middle seat open, so the planes are not as crowded right That's now That's my well. favorite. So if you want to fly United, now's a good time <laughs> because there's a middle seat open for you. Most of the window seats and the aisle seats get taken first, yeah. so it's so nice to have that middle seat. Okay. All right. Well, we talked about the airlines when they were having struggles with the fuel prices, but now they're not as strict. They're actually giving free soda again away on things. They're giving, yes, free soda, some food. And you know what? A really great thing is you're going to get your luggage now because there are less chances, less people flying, less luggage to be moved around, higher probability you're going to get your luggage, and your flight's going to get there on time. But you still have to pay if you bring more than one bag. Is there anybody exactly. starting to lessen that, or are they no. going to keep that forever? They're think? probably going to keep that for quite a while. Okay. And then number five, the last one, when you get to your destination, shorter lines at all the hot spots. Right. If you've ever been to Disney when yes. it's Easter, it's really nice to travel there now because there's shorter lines in Vegas, shorter lines even in New York City, shorter lines at museums and, and areas where it used to be really crowded to go. Not as many people traveling, so now is a better time. So there are reasons to travel, and you can get good deals now. All right. If somebody asked you in 10 seconds or less, what is the best deal you got right now? What would be the number one vacation real quick? I would probably say Disney in the fall is a really good thing. Free meals. All right. Free meals. Mm -hmm. All right. Jennifer Donge is from VIP Vacations with all the deals for us. Thank you yes, for being here. Thank you. She probably feels like she's at Disney with Goofy and Wacky and Dumbo on the set here. All right. Well, it's Deep Which Fried one are Friday you? here. Good I was talking about myself with all three of those names. I'm sorry. Nothing to Sue and John. You guys are just yeah, perfect thanks. people.